It's a whole new deck. Fuck. Drop the stopwatch. It's a new day. And I'm back for more G Sorry, Gene Simmons. Sorry. Why are things wrong? Right, sorry, hi, welcome back. Ah, I keep thinking of Shanti for some reason. Like she keeps popping into my mind, like it was quite I don't know, just something about the way we found her, you know? She was your teacher. She was with you at the start of the game. She was an important character we've been looking for her this whole time. And then you finally find her and she's just dead. You know, no fanfare. No nothing, just there she is. Dead in a random little side path. Well, anyway. Now that that's off my mind, off my chest. What? You meet a servile alchemist. He is old and heavily worn. He's missing two fingers and most of his fingernails. Whoa, that's that's gross. Probably from noxious chemicals and experiments gone wrong. When he looks up and sees you, he clearly wishes you were not here. Fuck, sorry. He goes about his work, pointedly ignoring you. You ask his name. Oi, I didn't choose this. He says, Toivo. His voice is choked and raspy. I don't know. Toivo. I guess that. He continues to work. What are you working on? Toivo ignores you. Oh. Somehow I'd like to know. Why is that a question? Toivo still ignores you. I'm trying to find a cure to a disease that affects serviles. Can you help? For a moment, Toivo ends his silence. A worthy goal, but can't help. Only in Benari Us might they have cure. Only they have skill and care for serviles. But you go there and they kill you, and good to that. What? Oh, fuck me for wanting to help, eh? Ah, <sighs> understandable. Is it? I didn't do anything. It's a classic case of hate all of one type of people because of what some did. But at least in this case it was like most of us did stuff. There he is, the boy. We didn't even get a big text dump when we came in, probably because it's a dragon and he already dumps enough as- Oh! The box refuses to open no matter how hard you try. I can nick his kebab. I allowed you here much to discuss. Hi Cyrus. In the centre of the city hall. God, what a path to get here. I have to go all the way around. You find a drake. It is an old creature. Drakes live a long time, but this one is clearly stretching the limits of his lifespan. His scales are dull and flaking. Ah, oh. And he is missing teeth. Ah, oh. How is he supposed to eat a kebab then? Probably with the teeth that he isn't missing. Yet yeah, he seems hardy and his eyes are bright. His body puts off a strange warmth that you can feel even from where you're standing. What, right next to him? Whoa. Smell him. Oh! There is strong magic in him, sustaining and protecting him. He stares at you. In his eyes you see more than just reptilian coldness. He is willing to deal with you, but he does not like or trust shapers. He says, I am Cyrus. I am the leader of the Takers. I see you have found your way to us. No, I haven't. Yeah, I have actually. We may have things to discuss. You have, I am sure, heard we are mad. If that is true, I will explain our madness to you. I've had enough. You're a rogue and you must be destroyed. No. So tell me about the Takers. Alright, all call us mad. Maybe we are a bit. I know your kind will have no sympathy for our viewpoint, but I will tell you our story, and hope you will see the justice of our cause. Just cause? I will tell it as it has been told and retold. It's like Chinese whispers. Is that... I wonder if you're still allowed to call it that these days. I was called that when I was a kid, where like... You sit in a ring and you whisper something into the person next to you's ear and they whisper it on. And when it comes back around to you, it's completely different. Like lost in translation stuff. But I feel like calling it Chinese whispers might be considered offensive these days because how times change and such. Anyway, the Takers were created on Susi Island in the ruins of the dry and dead city of Kazk after the Shapers abandoned us to die. The land left to us was poisoned and the plants withered. You could have moved in with like someone else. And there was lots of other land. Maybe you wouldn't have been so angry if you just lived in a nice town instead. And yet we were loyal. The Servals believed that you created them. Yeah, we did. And in that, they owed you a debt. 
and as the years passed and they suffered more and more they grew angrier then what happened then one of them stepped forward his name is not remembered by the surf holes. one day he went to the middle of the square mad with hunger and anger and he raised his fist and he shouted he yelled the shapers are wrong they torment they bad we must take our free what god can't speak proper proper shaper language what happened to him oh he was killed oh they were loyal to your kind then the other shapers struck him down instantly but the idea was planted and as the years passed more and more came to repeat his words oh the forest grew from the seed that's all it takes just one single seed and eventually people could change they called themselves takers and now we drakes do too we do this because we will take our freedom from you no he said take our free not dumb what if it's free sub what if he was submissive but you've just decided you're a free dominatrix i mean dominant um however we can you lost all right to control us when you left us alone on Sushi island you should have gone back on the boat before we left then shouldn't you you lazy bastards probably not i'm obviously joking but that was when the servals were alone and the drakes were alone then your kind rediscovered Sushi island what happened then destruction it is what we knew would happen the shapers came back they came to kazk they saw that what the takers had done and learned what they believed and they responded with fire only fire but we've got so many other spells so many died the rest fled screaming there were a few of us drakes there me and rakus i remember rakus and and a cat i also remember a cat but i think that's from this game wasn't rakus the one that had the lair and like drake's veil or something were there a bunch of pylons that you could get gems from and then ghosts attacked and there was a there was like an armband or something in rakus's lair that i wanted but i didn't want to fight him for it because he was handsome as in he was a dragon in other words and that's just what i call all dragons as well as sexy i think that was the guy rakus um anyway where was i i'm lost now yeah me and rakus and a cat and others we saw what you had done and we were sickened we saw that our very existence the very life of a drake was made illegal by your kind and we were furious just live an illegal life. Fuck em. You're dragons. Who cares? As in, fuck you, I'm a dragon, TM. We tried to help the servals escape, and when Zachary and Barzal came to us, wanting to learn more of the power of Susi Island, we saw a chance. In return for our help, we and the Takers were safely es escorted. I don't know why I'm having trouble reading this. Sometimes escorted by Zachary and Barzal to these mountains. Once there, we servile and drake alike united and we began to work on the great plan i think it's because there's so much text my eyes are like glazing over or something and blurring what is the great plan F sex freedom i mean in the words in the words of our poor short-lived founder we will take our freedom we will gain power until we are strong enough to defeat the shapers they are too wicked to exist we will beat them down oh yes please beat me down cyrus oh sorry one day we will fight them until all creations are free and thanks to the secrets we have learned and the work we have done here we believe that is possible and that is our story oh it's your story someone else had probably worded differently why have you told me this because i asked because we believe there may be wisdom in you now the only wisdom I have is you're a dragon so I'm just going to follow you automatically no matter what your story is or side in all this. That's literally it. I would join the awakened but, but yeah. The wisdom to turn down the corrupt power you're being offered. The power to control and oppress. Turn on the shapers. Help us take the fight back to them. Help us be free. We want you to be our ally. We can offer you power but more than that we offer you the chance to do what is right what a persuasive fella got a silver tongue this dragon we do not want to destroy all humans humans are fine Pfft, never mind 
he's an idiot after all. Oh, sorry. Um, the majority of humans are fine, probably. Anyway, it is only the ones who oppress us, only the shapers, that we will fight. Um, your words have the ring of truth. I might consider joining you and fighting my own people. Cyrus nods. I did not believe that you might even consider it. Then why did you offer it? If you didn't believe it. You gotta believe! Just as your dragon brethren once said. However, if you are true and willing to be tested, we may let you fight on our side. Fight for Raya. Cyrus hands you a small token. It, it, it is several feathers bound by a feather thong. Have you been wearing this thong? <laughs> no, you haven't. It's fresh from the wash. To a polished... Sorry, do you have to be gross? Um, To a polished stone. This pass will get you safely past the patrols to the south and east. I've already been past the east. That's how I got here. How did you think I got here? If it wasn't by having a pass or some sneaky tactics. Um, when you're being tested, it will be of use to you. I have another quest. Oh, God. Where did you come from? He just says to the island. Soros watches you intently for a few moments. Then he says simply, what else? Where did you come from? I came from Susie Island. I was made a very long time ago. I cannot remember how long. I was created by the Shapers of Susia before the Isle was abandoned. I don't think you meet him in one. don't remember. Um, my views of them have changed as the years have passed. As time has passed, my body has grown frail, and yet I continue. How have your views of the Shapers changed? He's already talked about all this. As the years passed, I grew soft and sympathetic. I saw how servals were heated. Treated? Heated? It's happening again. I can't read today. And strangely, it began to make me sad. Of course, finding out that the Shapers had banned Drakes and made my very existence illegal didn't help much. If you're so frail, aren't you afraid to allow someone like me in your presence? I am weak, but my defences are strong. Raise a hand against me. No, I'll raise a sword. No, I wouldn't, and you would not make it out of here alive. Um, yeah, I don't punch, so I guess it's okay if you raise a sword, or even a dagger in my case. Do you think the Takers have any chance against the Shapers? He probably wouldn't be doing this if he didn't think he had a chance. Before we came here, I would have said no, since we have arrived, however. We Drakes and Servals have worked very hard. We have developed shaping skills of our own, very powerful skills. More I will not say, except that yes, I believe we can truly threaten the Shapers. Threaten my underwear elastic, that's for sure. I'd, would I like to ally myself? Yeah. Cyrus nods, your words have marked you as one we might trust. However, before we can take you in, we need proof of both your skill and your sincerity. I have two trusted lieutenants. If you can win their approval, I will trust you. First, see Toivo. He is in the he is the wisest servile among us. He has seen the most and suffered much at the hands of your people. Get the his approval. I'm willing to be tested, but time is short. Is there no way to reduce what I need to do? Cyrus is reluctant, but you are very convincing. Ah, leadership at work again. Even with every, even with very old independent creations, shapers have a lot of influence. God, I'm using shaper tactics to join a group that is against shapers. What? All right, it makes me sad to bypass my lieutenants, but in this case, because time is tight, I hope I can like do their quests anyway. I will. I will let you get by without getting Toivo's permission. More than that, I will not give. So don't ask. Alright, god. Can I still, like, get Toivo's thing to do? Um, I'm trying to find a cure for a disease. No, I already did that. Hang on. I know I have to go through all this again now, but I... Whoa! Yep. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Nowhere, really. Oh. Right, so if I get out of there and talk to Toivo, can I get a quest from him? Because I'd rather not skip it. Yeah. 
I won't tell the takers. Before I can, Cyrus says I need your approval. <laughs> Toivo looks up at you startled. That was enough to startle him into speaking with you. Me, he says, his voice choked with anger. Help a shaper. After all, after. He is quiet for a moment, then he says, All right, yes, you prove yourself fine. Northeast, across lake, we found tunnel, with obelisks t to either side. Oh god, you better not be talking about. Deep in, we found I'd. Oh fuck! On a pedestal. Old, very old. Go get it. He chuckles. Yes, get and bring, and I help you. Just get the statue? Why is that? Is there something dangerous? Is there? Fuck! Toivo laughs. No, not at all. Go get it. I'm sure we will work out for you. I'm sure we'll work out for you. So much for me wanting to do this for him. That can wait. Can I go in here? Are you gonna get moody? If I do this. Whoa! You didn't even warn me. You, you didn't even warn me. You could have given me a warning, you grumpy fuck. Dragons. You just have to divine what they do and don't want you to do. In other words, just worship 24-7, that's all. You might get fed if you're lucky. As in, you might get fed to a dragon. No! Right, well then. That's Cyrus, the mighty Cyrus himself. I kind of need to, like... Oh, wait, I can talk to you again now, can't I? I kind of need to go back and drop stuff off, but there's no easy way back right now, so maybe I'll just dump a pile of stuff, like, in this town as well. Istar looks at you with interest. You suspect that she has never met a Shaper. Yeah, she met me at the entrance of town. She finds you fascinating. I have met Cyrus. Cyrus is wise and strong. Cyrus will crush your kind. It is sad, but necessary. You don't want the Shapers to be destroyed? I do not want it to be necessary, but remember, it was your kind who created us, and then you decided that we should no longer exist. We have to defend ourselves. You're not being attacked right now. Have I? I don't remember I've talked about this. No, I don't think I have. She wanted me to talk to Cyrus, didn't she? I am called the Mediator. We servals and drakes work together, but we are both proud. I help the two communicate and settle differences. I was brought up to be very peaceful, and when I can manage it, humble. Bondor! It is so I can do my job. Are there lots of problems between drakes and servals? I wouldn't have remembered to talk to her if she hadn't just wandered past me here and seen the name. So that was lucky. Are there lots of problems between drakes and servals? No, though we are very different, we have a common situation. Also, each has skills the other doesn't. Drakes are physically stronger and live longer. Servals are better with tools and potions, and are often better at planning. What? How could a mere dumb servile be better at planning than a wise dragon? Oh wait, lizard brain. We rely on each other. We are very different, but we are partners. Ah! Oh. Why don't the drakes dominate the surfer? Oh, I bet they do sometimes. We are physically stronger, but that does not make it right to crush the weak. I didn't say crush. I said dominate. Great, guess they don't understand what I'm talking about. That is the way the shapers do things. You crush those weaker, not us. Um, yeah, the shapers may do that, but I don't. A noble sentiment, but we will see how it works in practice. Your kind has a history. We have learned it well. Um, did I ask everything? Ah, oh, no. What sort of problems do you have? Food disagreements, living space, direction, the sort of differences all creatures would have. Ignor said that the servals need help with some spine cones, spine cores, and we drakes will deal with it soon, but there is much to be done, and we still have some un uh, some usable farmland. Sometimes servals are worried and impatient, I suppose it comes from having such fragile bodies. Yeah. Right. Uh, who created you? This time is amused. Created? Shaper, I was born to two drakes. Oh, yeah? Is that not being created? You were made by sex. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess I'll just leave a pile of stuff here. 
Uh, no, not that kind of pile of stuff. Because I can't really easily get back. I mean, I can easily get back, but I have to go through that map and I can't be asked. Um, yeah, that'll do. Will it? There are merchants in here, but. There we go! Hmm, stuff. Stuff here too. Right. Time to go do some spine cores. I've done nothing but talk to Cyros in this part. Dare I? No, I'm not going back up there yet. I'm not going up there either. Um, I might as well get get a look down here. Check a look. Try and find those spine cores. God, if only I'd known that they wanted the idol the first time I went there. Whoa, this is very like. Uh, hello. This is very uh beige floor, as in it's brighter than usual. This drake, the drake is willing to let you pass, however it doesn't want to talk to you, unsurprisingly considering that the Shaper Council has pretty much forbidden its kind to exist. It doesn't like you. Well, I'm not the Shaper Council, so fuck em. With your giant dragonness, Probably bloody split him in half. No! Clearly. Clearly mega horny today, sorry, not really. It's just natural when dragons are pathfinding. Is well good. <laughs> Brain rat. Where am I? Oh, it's happening already. The annoyance. I just got here and I'm already getting stuck on things that aren't real. I should have gone in. Oh, there is a path there. A little opening. Oh, oops. Rat on rat action. That was pretty naff of them, as in on their part. Right, we've already seen that, have we? Yeah, we have. Why is this called Hermit Crossroads? What's here? Is there a hermit living in the middle? There is a path, so potentially leading to a little hermit house where hermits live. Only one of them, actually. What's going on down here? Ah. Sorry, I had dinner recently. You know, food coma and all that. Bag of wheat, wheel, meal. Bag of meal. Are you a merchant, by any chance? Hello. Don't mind if I do. Hello? Learned Thanny. It's a good job it's a TH, not an F. When you enter, this servo is staring into the fire. Are you? Is there a fire there? Mesmerized, he seems to be meditating. After a few moments, he notices that you've entered. He turns. I am Learned Thanny. I am a hermit. I welcome peaceful visitors. He looks extremely strong and his movements are quick. No, it took him ages to realize I was here. You see the outline of a sword and a baton under his robe. Is that a baton under your robe, or are you just... Go away, please. I don't want you. You're a hermit? Yes, I provide learning. Oh, I give advice and training to those who come to me. I sit apart from the factions and struggle taking place. You're awfully close to Zasus to be apart from taking factions, taking sides. Uh, what sort of advice do you give? Only the takers come to me now. Probably because no one else can get here. They keep all others from these lands, yeah. They want me to tell them how to 
how better to wage war. I train them, but I do not help stir their battle lust. You may think the takers are mad. Perhaps they are. They do seem pretty angry. That the new generations are much calmer than the old. I only hope they can find a way to the freedom they deserve in a way that does not destroy them. What sort of advice do you have for me? I have no advice for you, Shaper. You will have to choose. Oh, great, thanks. What a great advice giver you are. The choice is to is too great for me to choose for you. Four factions v vi for your help. You may join one of them, or you may spurn their help and battle those you feel are your enemies. Any one of those paths can possibly lead you to happiness, if you are brave and careful. They're just, he's just trying to sell the game here by telling you you have choices, or you can just choose not to choose. That's the whole point. Than Thanny watches you serenely. What else do you want? Uh, tell me about your training. I was created to fight. I fight well. I was made to do it. Yes, I know. You said that at the start. However, I was found that my mind contained wisdom and clarity. I left my post to come here. At times like these, one's mind... One mind can do much more than one blade. Not really. Yes, I put my skills at the disposal of those who come to me, and the wish... With the wish to learn to fight. Can you train me? Yes. Oh, it's just Brodus Blade again. Bug off, then. Don't need training. So, what is this area? There is little here, but much beyond, to the south, is Zasus. What? That's to the... Oh, north. He did say north. Home of the Takers. And Gazakus is south. Oh, there's a name that brings back memories. Few will speak of it. What is Gazakus? It is a dumping ground. Ugh. It's where the skill of the Barzites, the magic of the Takers, and the arrogance of the Shapers met in a dark mixture of foolishness and selfishness. Tell me more? Before the war, uh, Takers and Barzites worked together. They made new creations, strong, they made new creations, strong creations. They were concerned only for pure power, forgetting about wisdom and control. Great, that sounds like a fun place to go, doesn't it? In other words, unbalanced crab. No. Though, uh, through this process, strong creations are made. The Dracon, the Gazer, the Rockroth. Oh. But many mistakes were made, and the mistakes were discarded. Where were they discarded? In Gazagus. They were wa walled in, left to do whatever they wanted. In this case, to use their magic to fester, to devour each other and grow strong on the remains, to grow very strong, and to be ignored. Just through the gate is the first region of Gazagus. There are mad things there. I hear them howl in the night. I do... No, the entrance is guarded by a huge battle gamma, made so its skin is almost impervious to blows. Then, farther in, there is a sealed door. What's past the door? How would he know? Eh, yeah, I do not know. All I know is that that is where the world lies. The world lies? Entombed. What? The world lies there? Maybe it is all dead. I hope so. You hope the world is dead? I don't get it. The key to the door was probably destroyed. It was taken to Benariuse to be shattered, and that is all I know of the foolishness. How can I get into Gazakus? You don't. The only way I would help someone get in is if I thought they could kill... Uh, he thinks. You know, some shapers were killed in the process of sealing Gazakus. They had valuable items which were lost. You could retrieve them if you went in and killed the guards. To get in, you press concealed panels in the two stone pylons near the entrance. Once you know they're there, they're easy to find. Alright, what is this area? There is little here, but... Oh, right, already here. Ah, you're a warrior? I have the skills, but I do not use them. I was made to fight, but I chose a different path. Oh, okay. Bye. Bar. A random little corner over here. Are there no enemies in this map? Yeah, Gazagus, I think that's the um, Shaper Crypt of this game, basically. The hard zone that you probably don't want to go to. I might, because I'm like big and burly and cool like that, but you might not be. 
Zasus, Northwest, Gazaku, South. Oh, look. Look at this place. This is where the drakes who patrol this area live and sleep. One cryer drake watches you as you enter. He growls. It's a long, low, menacing sound. Then he says, This is our home, Shaper. Ally or no, you must go or pay. Alright, bye. Not again. The dragons don't want me in their houses. Anyway, well, we did a lot of reading this this part, didn't we? Are they going to get moody? Oh, 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 yeah, they are. Right. Well, next time we'll do some more exploring of the surrounding area. I don't know if we'll see the entrance of Gazak Us. Maybe. Maybe I'll take a peek and immediately die. But until then, thanks for watching. More like thanks for listening. <laughs> and uh, see you next time.